Alright guys, so once again this is DMSI channel and my name is yours truly Dr. Emmanuel Bright. Alright? Today I will be talking about something that um well something that's common more to the men, but of course uh, indirectly the women also are um, affected. Alright, so the other day I was in my office and I had to see this two young couple walked into the office and then the the, the, man, the male was supposed to be the patient and then he started, it was not really forthcoming, it was neither here nor there. And I could sense that while they were on the other side of the table, the, the lady was trying to pass the message to him, you know, giving him some signs, and then he won't just come up, all right? Then eventually, and then the woman will say, look, doctor, don't mind him, all these things he's saying are just, he's just beating around the bush. He's not doing well, all right? So today I'll be saying, discussing, something about premature ejaculation all right so how do you last longer during sexual intercourse okay so and then like i said it affects you the female but uh, the, the male but of course if, if the female is a female that's on the receiving end of the impact of uh, not being able to stay long in bed i will be looking strictly in practically into three aspects all right that you need to concentrate on if you want to last longer in bed now, do not believe when you are told that, oh, don't worry, it's okay, all right? You, the one minute and, or 40 seconds, you, you, you've gone and you're back, all right? And then, because she doesn't want you to feel bad, she says, oh, don't worry, honey, it's, it's okay. No, it's not okay, guy. You, you need to do something about it. This video is for you. Come here along and let's um, you take through a practical work on how you can actually last longer. Now, in talking about being able to last longer in bed, it's important that we look at the reference, all right? So how, how long is really long, okay? So normally we say normal sex will last about, say, five minutes, eight minutes, maximum say 15 minutes, okay? So anything short of this is, you can say, is premature. But we actually have real time cases where people are lasting 40 seconds or even one minute, okay? So that is, and it becomes a real problem. It's, it's a problem. It's, it, it beats your, your confidence. It takes you, um, it takes away your 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 um, statue, and then you begin to feel bad. And the worst thing is that as your confidence is affected, it, it becomes, it gets even worse, okay? So I'm going to be looking at three parts, three aspects that you really can work on, and it's really easy. Just listen. Now, the male sex hormone, what we call testosterone, is responsible for strength and um, and the manliness that 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 men will usually display, even in during sexual intercourse. All right, and there are several ways that this male sex hormone can be increased. Although we're talking about premature ejaculation, we're not talking about inability to, we're talking about the lack of strength. All right, but it goes hand in hand. If you if after two minutes you're also panting so much, you're so tired, you are likely to also prematurely come and not be able to meet the target of having your, your spouse also um, getting satisfied with the act, all right? So yes, so the testosterone, the bit to increase testosterone, you need to do what I said in some past video that I did when I talked about exercise and the role that exercise play in the art of, of, of sex, of having sex, all right? Now, what kind of exercise are we looking at? Any kind of exercise you do. I would usually recommend that you do moderate intensity exercise and it affects globally your health, everything, all right? Your heart and your, your sex drive, everything. It affects your emotions. That's what exercise you do. But it's been, the studies have shown, though, that when you do exercises that tend to build your upper body, that um, the, the increase in testosterone that follows such exercise is usually not as high as the exercises that tend to make your waist and all that firm. So if you're squatting, you're, you're doing, um, what is it called, swinging the waist and all other, it's, it, 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 that's, that's more likely to increase. The increased testosterone that you get from that is definitely, uh, will definitely be more than what you get when you do um, uh, exercises that beauty or power. Okay? Now, that's, that is what you need to do to see that your testosterone is increased, but you need to have maximally good level of testosterone for you to be able to last longer in bed, all right? Now, the next thing that I want us to go into, which is quite um, practical, is what we call edging, all right? So when we say edging, you need to try to train your mind to be able to wait for your partner. You need to, you need to, you, 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 you do not just get in and should normally, you, 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 
get sensitive and then you want to come all right so when you want to come what do you do so you need to do what we call priming you should and then as much as we say that excessive masturbation is bad all right unfortunately we've had somebody i've had someone to talk to about oh doctor i think i i masturbate too much from at the end, at the end says oh i come too often all right Ordinarily, we say that okay, if you think that you are coming too soon and you are not able to hold it when you have to come, if you are not able to hold it and come again and start all over again, then the one of the ways that you could do that is that you could actually do you could you could do one you call masturbation, right? So that and then when you do when you masturbate, you are not able to come. You, you masturbate and then when you, when you, when you are just when you are about to come, you hold it, all right? So if you are able to hold it during masturbation and all that. Uh, if you do that a couple of times, all right. So if you are able to train your body, train your mind to to such a level where, when you are you know, during the act, you are also able to hold it. Especially when you know that it's too soon, and then your 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 partner is yet to be satisfied. So that's one way that you can also do it. In addition to this, it's all in the mind. There are certain, there are several factors really that 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 it's, a, it's an interplay of a lot of factors that determines. You're coming, all right. So sometimes to say that okay, you get your mind off the, the art and they just do this. Now the last one that I want to talk about, which is the mo most practical of the things I'm talking about, on how to, you can last longer in bed or during sexual intercourse, is the art itself, all right. So during sexual intercourse, first and foremost, you need to have a goal, all right. Deep down in your heart, you know what you want to achieve. Yeah, sex it should be mutual. You should enjoy it. But you really do not really you, you, you shouldn't be selfish enough to just enjoy sex and leave your partner to be hungry. All right, that that would, that would really be poor. Like I said before, when she tells you, no, don't worry, it's fine. I understand. But she doesn't understand. She's just trying to make you feel good. All right. So, what then do you do? Now, this is quite practical. The brain works with the the sex organs. All right, as the penis and all the other things to see that coming is possible all right so during sexual intercourse firstly what you can do is to take your mind off though you are having a sex you are having a sex action you are in you are in the art of having sex all right you are having sexual intercourse all right and then your partner is probably moaning and enjoying the sex that's not the time that you are going to come all right so one of the ways that you can last longer and this is very practical is for you to get your mind off let me remind you that some persons will come just by looking at certain things. Some persons had said before that they came just by their tummy being rubbed by the girl that they admire. Uh, do you know that? So what's what's happening there? You, all right, it's the mind. It's all in the mind. It's the focus. So you need to get your focus from that thing that 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 is that that puts you on top when you are not ready. You can you should be able to control your mind to get your mind off. And one of the ways you can do that, you could count. You could decide to count the number of trust that you have, for example, take your mind off, put in your mind that today you want to achieve 500 trust in and out, in and out, all right? And then count in your mind while you are doing what you are doing. If you are unable to get to 500, sometimes you get to 400. And if you put your mind, if you think that, oh, today I want to achieve a thousand trust, and then you can also, if, and if, even if you are able to get to a thousand, if you, are, if you are able to get to a thousand, that's fine. But if you are unable to get to a thousand, you may get 800, you may get 900, and at the end of the day, that will still be long enough, all right? So that is, this is another way that you can do it. Another thing you can do is to sing a song, something just learning to get distracted from the focus. Stop looking at it. Stop, stop getting fixated to, oh, this is it, this is the girl, this is my girl, this is my spouse. Oh, so get your mind off, look at other things, get distracted. And if you get that kind of distraction, you are most likely going to last a bit longer. And even as time goes on, you'll be able to last as long as you probably want. And as, as long as you want, you should also be, have a relativity to how much, all right, how often, how relatively to the fact that your partner is or has also had a great sexual experience. Now, that's all for this particular video on how you can last longer in bed. If you have any questions or you want to uh, want us to elaborate on certain parts of the video that you just watched, you can tell us uh, uh, on the comment section. And then if you like the video, you can get a friend to also look at it. If you like the video, you can can signify by pressing the like button make sure that you subscribe i refer someone to subscribe to our channel and then keep sharing this video and then i will assure you that we'll continue to do that videos that we pass you